Hello and welcome to Insert X Rows to Expand Table. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was asked a question about how to expand this table by inserting two rows, five rows, 10 rows. And the scenario for the question was basically, hey, we issue two passes to this company, five passes to this company, 10 passes to this company, and we wanna generate a table with two rows, five rows, and 10 rows for each of these companies to create basically like a guest list. So what we're gonna do here is use Power Query. To get started, we select any cell within this table, and we head to the Data tab, Get and Transform Data from Table Range. And what we're gonna do is we need a new column that is going to create a list. And each list will start at one and go to two, one to five, one to 10. So to generate that column, we click Add Column, Custom Column. And in the resulting dialog, we're gonna give this column a name. I'm just gonna use the column list. And then our formula is going to start with an open curly bracket or open curly brace. This is gonna tell Power Query that we're generating a list. So we want the list to start at one. And if we use two dots, that's gonna tell Power Query to automatically fill in all the values between one and the end. And the end in our case is the passes field. So we just use the passes field name uh, enclosed in square brackets. Then we close that curly brace again. And we should have it, so we click OK and we have our new column list, and if I click here, I can see that this first list contains two rows, one to two, perfect. I click here, this has one to five, that looks good. I click here, one through 10, and I think we got it. So we don't need this passes column anymore, so I'm just gonna select it, and I'll press delete on my keyboard. And now what we do is we click this expand icon, and we just say expand to new rows, and I think we caught it. Uh, and so in this case, we're done, so we can close and load two. Here we wanna send it into a table in an existing worksheet. I select my starting point and click OK, and now we got it. Okay, good? All right. Hey, hopefully that helps. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 